right, and I can start it out anytime. So it's recording. Okay. All right. This is my bag of props. And this is how I explain what I do. Okay. And all these are tools. Tools of the trade. These are tools of the trade. Just like if you're a carpenter or and you or a mechanic and you had a set of screwdrivers, and um, you would choose the particular screwdriver for a particular screw. If you used a screwdriver that was too large for the screw, you would really chew right, up the sir. screw. Okay. Right. All right. So all these do the same thing. This is a scalpel. All these do the same thing, and this is just a, a syringe with a needle yeah. on the tip. Injection. Okay. Um, so all these are the same. They do the same thing. All of them are made out of plastic and stainless steel, for one. So they only do two things. All these do two things. One is that they pierce the tissue, and they cause microscopic bleeding, and that triggers the healing process. Right. Right. Okay. That's powerful. Number two is that the wire, the wire will enter the muscle. Can you see that on the? Is it? I think if you hold it, you set it there. Okay, okay, okay. The wire. Can you see it now? A little bit. Okay. Yeah, it's better. Then I guess. The wire will enter the muscle, and it'll short circuit the muscle, and the muscle will go through a reboot process, and the reboot muscle, rebooted muscle will be a lot more flexible, limber, and cooperative. Okay. Right. So, um, and all these are different tools. Now, this is an acupuncture needle. Bring your hand over here for me. Okay, good. And just hold that needle for me. Hold it. And I'm going to pluck it. You can feel the vibration in the right. needle. Yes. Right. Okay. The vibration is very important because you can sense how dense the tissue is or how stiff it is based on the feedback from the needle. Let me show you this one, okay. Hold this one for me. Right. Now that's a hypodermic needle. Right. This is a hollow core needle with a bevel tip, a sharp tip on the uh, end. Okay, that's an, that's an injection yeah. needle. Yeah, that's pretty firm. You can't feel very much. Yes, yeah, sir. Now, this is a tool and this is a tool used in different circumstances. I can use this as this but I can't use this for this one. This has a, I can inject material in, and this has a cutting tip on the tip. Correct. But this doesn't. This is the first tool. This is the basic tool. This is the yes. most profound tool. Yes. And then all these are are used as tools. Okay. So if I understand well, um, with the different types of uh, needles, uh, you inflict more or less damage to exactly, the tissue. Exactly. Exactly microscopically and you breaking you're breaking up the muscle fibers okay now this and this are the same tool except except I wouldn't want to use this in your face and I wouldn't get very far if I use this in your right. glute, in your butt more, uh, okay yes, yeah. yes so you need the right tool for the right job and Again, I can make a mess out of your face with this, and I wouldn't get very far with your glute with this one. Right. Now, this is a surgical tool. Do the same thing. So a surgeon just agitates the tissue. He may reboot the muscle, and he thinks that he's fixing something, but all he's doing is agitating the tissue. And they've done research where they do sham surgery. They'll just make a cut, sew it up, and the patients think they had surgery, and they feel better. Uh, but wow. All these are tools, and all of these do acupuncture, but I wouldn't want to use this as an acupuncture needle. No. I would want to find the appropriate tool. Right. Um, right. And that's it. So trigger the healing process, reboot the muscle, and you have to use the right tool for the right job, for the sp specific job, and then you get a better response. Yeah. Now, how, what I... How, how can I... How can I uh um, picture rebooting a muscle. That's I'm gonna put that in another 
movie. Oh, 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 and I have that, and I'll show it to you. Okay, okay. thank you.